for the best part of a couple of decades at this point, I've not been that big of a fan of movies. I've been far more interested in watching TV series. They were just more interesting. They were longer. Uh, they began to have, like, significant budgets, and they had better characters, better stories. Everything was explained more. There was more depth to them, more complexity. <sighs> they were just more original, innovative, in a year, that word, and everything else. And movies just didn't have that. They got dumber over time. And, I like, I don't mind dumb movies. I like action movies. But they kept trying to do action movies with plots, and they're just not intelligent enough to do good plots. They don't have the talent. They can't keep an idea in their head for two minutes, let alone two hours. And so when you see Hollywood trying to do TV series, it's doomed to fail. The talent isn't there. Hollywood isn't capable of making a good TV series. It requires an entirely different group of people, an entire different way of writing, branding, thinking about characters. You actually have to stay with the characters. These are characters that have to literally be the same person for season after season, year after year. When the movies, they just swap them around whenever they want. Like this. This is Hollywood's idea. Yeah, we had Captain America, and there's only one guy who is Captain America. And I don't care about the comics. I don't watch the comics. When it comes to these kind of superhero movies, I am 100% Norman. And so, literally... There's one Captain America. And you can try and say, oh, I moved over to Sam Willis. No, that's just a guy in a suit with a shield. He's not Captain America any more than Sh the Maggie, Maggie Carter is. And I know what you're thinking. Well, she's not meant to be Captain America. She's got a British flag on her. It's like, yeah, I would agree with you, except they changed Captain America's Twitter page. So now it's Captain Carter for some reason wearing British gear. It makes no sense. And this is the kind of thing that I mean. They just love changing the characters. Why? Because they think, oh, if we make it a woman, if we make it someone who has more melanin than someone else. It's a very weird thing to care about, like, in my opinion. You might as well check their vitamin C levels and hire them based off that. But that's what that's Hollywood's idea of talent at this point. And so when you care about this stuff, and you, they think that if I check off every box, I'm going to get as wide of an audience as possible. And that's not what happens. And it's not what happened here. Because all they did... Whoops, wrong page. All they did is go around and start annoying all of their old fans. People are just like, what happened to Sam Wilson? Why Why have we gone back to a white person? Why? Because all of these people really care about only one part of the character. And I can't really blame them because that's all Disney cared about as well. That's what they care about. Oh, well, it's just, let's change their sex and their gender and now their skin color. As long as we get all of these list different aspects in a character somewhere at some point, we'll get as wide a net and as many customers as possible. And it's not how it works. All you do is alienate the people that liked the character before. They're not necessarily going to like the new character. And if you've got a new character, you should have to build them up separately on their own, off their own merit. But they're not trying to do that. They're trying to basically get stolen valor to choose a military term. And they're literally trying to force all of your feelings that you had for this old character onto a new one because it's somehow tangentially related in some way. It's weird. It's bizarre. And it doesn't work. But that's Hollywood for you. And so no one should be surprised when Hollywood makes a terrible TV series because they can't have a complex thought. They're just desperately going, well, this works. Maybe we can force that into a new idea. Whereas TV was original. They kept coming up with new ideas, new properties. This new series coming out all of the time that no one's ever seen before, that they build up, that can go for literally... What did Supernatural get? Season after season, like 16 or something. It was insane. But it was original. And if they'd been in a movie at first, it never would have taken off. Because when you move over from Hollywood, they come with all of that baggage. All of those people from Hollywood move over and they just don't have the talent. When I see things like this, it's awful. The Suicide Squad was a flop. But by any definition, it had 26.5 million debut and it cost 185 million to make. That is some massive, incredible amount of flop, and I don't even think that actually includes the marketing budget. That would sting anyone's wallet. And yet what they're doing, they're bringing over one of the worst characters from it that bored me to tears. I fell asleep in the movie. This guy was awful, and yet now he's getting his own TV series. And why? Because Hollywood thinks that John Cena is some kind of big name. I've only ever heard of him from a meme. I've only recognized his name. He could walk past me in the street and I'd have no idea who he is. 
because wrestling just isn't that big in the rest of the world. And this is why I have no faith in Captain Carter, because Americans have this strange tendency to think that British people and Americans are the same, that the world is the same, that everything that happens in America happens just the same everywhere else. And it's not true. We have entirely different cultures. Nearly everything is different in some way, shape or form. And so if you think that John Cena is this big, massive name, then all you're going to do, you're going to take the British flag and it's basically just going to be Captain America in a British flag. That's what it's going to be. And I have no reason not to believe that because you've even given Captain America's body. That's definitely a man's body. You've just put a different flag on it. And it's going to take so much more work. You're going to have to do so much research. You're actually going to need British people if you want to make a British character. You can't just use American stereotypes and expect it to be good but you will and that's what the trailer makes it looks like you've done but you expect me to have faith on it it's something that was almost custom built for me you couldn't have had like i would have loved something like this yeah i just had for a british character fine it would have been great but it had to be a separate character it had to be a new character and it had to be one built up from scratch but that that's not Hollywood's tactic. Hollywood doesn't even have the capability to do something like that. You can say that you're trying to build out a new universe, but if you're going to build out a new universe, you can't just assume people are going to like your characters. You have to give them a reason to. And John Cena just doesn't have the pulling power. What you needed was Will Smith. Everyone around the world likes Will Smith. He was a guy that could have actually made you a TV series. And yet... Whether it's because you didn't want to pay him, whether it's because Suicide Squad, although it made a hell of a lot of money, I was surprised about. That Suicide Squad, the first one, actually made $746 million in the box office. And I'm trying to show it here, but it won't close. There we go. $746 million. That was a big hit. I mean, I know a lot of people trash it, but it made money. And at the end of the day, that's what counts if you want to do it. Bums on seats, eyeballs on the screen. And this guy doesn't have it and so the people in hollywood make a bad film they make a bad movie that flops and from that they decide they're gonna make a bad tv series as well and they can't even keep their character straight you had loki who literally changed from some kind of manipulative megalomaniac and then he got his own tv series and now he's just a bitch like literally the only thing he did was cry and talk about his feelings i've never seen such a soy filled crowd but apparently that is what we want now in TV series. That's what we're going to get when it comes to Hollywood. And I despise it. I've had more entertainment in The Flash than I have any of the movie TV series. They can't keep an idea in their head. They can't keep an idea straight. And if you can't keep your own, if you can't keep your own characters straight in your head, then how on earth are you meant to keep them as a solidified, unified character for multiple years over multiple series. It's not going to work. And this is why I'd wish movies would stay to their own and TV series would stay to their own. They're different mediums and they should be treated as such. We need different ideas. Build a wall around the TV series. Please protect them so we can at least get some kind of quality from some kind of people. Because all we're going to get if Hollywood comes in, everyone's going to appeal to them because they have the money. They have the money to throw around and that's what's going to take all of the main attention and there's no saving them there's no saving these ideas there's no saving people that think that is a good idea as a tv series there's no saving people that think that really that has anything to do with captain america so i say we just let the stuff die cut off build a wall around it to expect nothing from it and desperately try and protect the actual tv series which i still think exists which are good, they're still entertaining because the less impact that Hollywood has on TV, the better. The less ho impact Hollywood has on anything, the better. But for now, that's it from me. If you like the video, press like and subscribe more videos in the future and let me know what you think of Hollywood and the state of TV down below. Are you a fan or do you really wish we could go back 20 years? Because I know I do. But for now, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.